220 doctors, nurses and general staff will transfer from the current Hastings District Hospital to the new facility when it opens next Wednesday. 125 beds will initially be available, but this will later increase to 160. Don Mackay at the Hospital Action Group says they will be sorry to see the old hospital close and will continue to closely monitor health services in the region. I think we'll, the Hospital Action Group uh, will just be a watchdog of its own in the hospital and possibly call on people who have complaints that we can sort of uh, assist them in that way. Concern at the monopoly of hospital care at Port Macquarie. The senator today held talks with... ...and left another 32 people in hospital. The push for seatbelts on coaches called... A problem with that story there. Parents in Taree are being urged to immunise their children against... Yeah. Australian Democrats leader Cheryl Kernow has expressed concern at the monopoly of hospital care at Port Macquarie. The senator today held talks with the hospital action group members who are concerned that some issues are unresolved a week before the hospital opens. A week from today, the new Hastings Base Hospital will have received its first patients. The Hospital Action Group has fought a long battle against the private hospital's establishment and they aren't finished yet. This morning, they met with Australian Democrats leader Cheryl Kernow to plead their case. Senator Kernow admitted to a feeling of desperation that issues are still outstanding so close to day one. And apart from the philosophical question about whether governments have a role in providing public health facilities, there is still the unanswered question of what's going to happen to aged and palliative care. If she could look at those issues and perhaps ask the question of uh, whether the federal government are planning to sort of fund those into going into this private hospital. The group raised a number of concerns with the senator from what they say is the inadequate number of public beds to the suitability of healthcare of Australia to hold a licence to run a hospital. They also informed the Senator the same company runs the Port Macquarie Private Hospital, something she was unaware of. And it's a bit of a worry that uh, the same company owns both health facilities in this town. I mean, it's the National and Liberal governments who've said at other times that monopolies are bad things. Hospital administrators have confirmed the facility will open on the 2nd of November at 7am. Three hours later, the Hospital Action Group will begin a day of mourning at the old hospital. Darren.